Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Ted with TFWebWorks.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a PHP photo gallery to your website so you can show off all those cool photos. Hey, keep watching. All right, folks, you know how we do this. Let's go ahead and log into this photo gallery PHP script. All right, so we're presented with our control panel right here. And this is the section where any photos that we would have uh, uploaded, this is where they would show. First thing you're going to probably want to do is come over here to options like always. Go ahead and get things kind of set up for yourself. We got that uh, 800 pixel restriction, which you guys already know that I don't like. But uh, I'm going to keep it on there just so we can see how that's going to look. And then I'm going to change it like I always do. Uh, you got a pagination on here or you can do load more and what this does if, if, if it's set to load more as you scroll down to the bottom of the page it'll say uh, it'll have a, a load more button and you can click that or you could have pagination where it has page numbers one two three four and, and, and etc numbers of photos per page in the gallery we're gonna just leave that at nine for right now I'm probably not gonna change any of these visual options for right now but uh, they're there if you want to play with them. General width, what, 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 what was the main option? Enlarge photo maximum. Okay, so this right here, what this is, is uh, whenever you click on a photo, it's gonna be up to the width of 800 pixels. But then when we go here, this is the actual width of our photo gallery. So yeah, this is what I normally change right here. I'm probably gonna leave that I'm probably gonna leave this 800 as it is. You probably want to leave this. You don't want this to be too large because the photo will, you know, blow up or pop up to that size. I'm gonna leave my language options as they are for right now too. So first, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and create an album. So you can probably create as many albums as you want. Let me just call this. Uh, let's just say random. Start out with random, and then maybe I'll create. Let's say you're a photographer and you got wedding photos. If you're a designer, you may have uh, graphics. So now we got three albums. So whenever we get ready to upload photos, we're going to want to put photos into those albums. So let's go ahead, choose our album. I'm going to choose random. I'm gonna go ahead and find my photo so that I can know what kind of caption I wanna to add to it. So let's just see. Let's pick one of these default photos. So I'll just say flower. And you can add a hyperlink to this if you want to. You can make it link to another website or you can just leave it uh, leave it blank I'm gonna leave this blank click upload and there we have our first photo added into our photo list so what I'm gonna do now is pause upload some photos and come right back alright I'm back and I got us a few photos uploaded so let's take a look at the gallery preview to see what our gallery looks like All right, you can see it's laid out in a grid pattern. And if you click on a photo, it pops up in a light box. And you can click next, and you can also click previous to go back to the previous photo. You can add captions and they will appear at the bottom of the photo with the black transparency so you can see through to the picture. If you're looking for the albums, just hover over the word albums and you'll see the names of each one of the albums and if you click on it, it'll show only those photos. So let's click on graphics. Now it's showing us all the graphic photos that we uploaded to the album. When you click on all, it goes back to showing you every single photo that you uploaded up to the amount you have entered in the control panel. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine photos. And that is 
the exact amount, I believe. Yeah, the number of photos per page in the gallery. So that's the same amount that we have in our admin panel. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is click on this pencil. So if you made a mistake on a photo, you'll be able to edit it. So let's just say we wanna change this to woman. Click on update. And we can see that it changed right here. Let's go back to our gallery preview. Find that photo. And we can see, oh, I gotta refresh my page. And we can see that the change is taking place on the photo as well. So next thing we wanna do, and this is what you all been waiting for, is we have to put this on our web page. So let me copy this code right here, the PHP code. Once again, I always use the PHP over the iframe. I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna add this to my website page. All right, so here I am back in my file manager. We're gonna click on the gallery.php file. Click on code editor. And then we're gonna take that code that we copied. And we're gonna go right here up under the word gallery because we know that's our page heading. And we're gonna paste that code right here in this div container. I'm gonna go up here and click save changes. I'm gonna also close that out. Now we're just gonna type in our web page. And we're gonna go up here and click on gallery and see what we have. And here's our gallery. Now it's coded into our website page. So if we click on here, we can go to the blog that we created in the earlier video and go here we can see the slideshow that we added to the to the home page and the home page content we'll click on gallery again and we're presented with our gallery but now what I want to do is I want to take this limitation of 800 pixels off of here so I'm gonna go back to my options we're gonna go here to visual options general style and it's 850 that's what I want to zero out I'm going to click save on that. I'm going to go back and refresh this page a couple times on my gallery. And see what we get. There we go. That's the full screen that I like to see right there. So without the 800 pixels, you'll get this nice full screen. And let's see what we look like when we get responsive. So yeah, that's nice. This is what you'll look like on a mobile tablet or phone. So everything is responsive just like you want it.